So without giving too much away, of course, I'm hoping you can speak a little bit about who you play in Run, Sweetheart Run and what initially attracted you to the role. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So um, I play a character called Cherie. She's a single mother who works at a law firm. And uh, she's someone who very much has uh, life happening at her. She hasn't quite reached her full potential of her and realized her full power quite yet. Um, and she goes on what in the beginning 20 minutes of the film definitely feels what feels like what could be a romantic comedy, <laughs> which ends up taking a swift turn for the worst. <laughs> and um, I, that was kind of one of the things that drew me into the uh, into taking on this role. I really love this, this, the writing by Shauna and what she did. And she, it's you know a passion project for her. And I could really tell that when I read it, I literally read the whole thing in a lunch break whilst I was at work. And I mean, something that keeps your attention like that and makes you feel that type of way definitely needs to be something that's part of my uh, part of my history. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I mean, I can understand how you read it so quickly. It is so captivating. Um, and speaking of captivating, your performance in this film is so captivating, so powerful. And I'm curious, what was the most rewarding part for you of bringing this story to life on screen? Thank you. Um, no, knowing that I was being part of a conversation which is so much bigger than I am um, and, you know, so much bigger than, you know, what my art can hope to achieve. But I, that is part of the reason why we do what we do, which is to highlight themes and tell stories where people can either escape or find certain parallels with their lives and, and make a positive change for themselves um, and feel seen. And I was very proud knowing that in certain scenes and moments on set that, even if it was just someone like my two younger sisters were feeling seen in, in me doing this movie. Definitely. Absolutely. I think it's really going to be an incredible viewing experience for so many people as they watch and learn and get simultaneously like educated and entertained all at once. Entertained that part. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> once you're in, you're on. <laughs> yes, exactly. And then I'm curious, do you have a favorite memory from filming? favorite memory from filming I have a crazy album of uh just so many BTS pictures I definitely say uh I have two one was the fact that I actually got to shoot this film with my best friend on set so she was there with me the entire time um it was a really intense experience and she honestly just kept my feet on the floor it was amazing uh the other thing was the fact that the dog and I, I remember learning that the dog in the film is the same dog from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And suddenly I was starstruck over an animal. I'm like, we didn't deserve any deserve dogs anyway. And here we are. <laughs> we literally don't deserve dogs. Oh my gosh, that is so cool and so funny. <laughs> Those are <were> great memories. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I'm curious. So um, what do you hope viewers will take away from watching this film? Um, I hope that aside from the thrill and all the, the those parts of a horror, horror movie that you want to get when you see one of those, apart from those things, um, I hope that it normalizes um, what is otherwise a super taboo conversation, which is female blood. Here we are. She's super smart. She uses it to her, to, her, to save her life. Happens to 50% of us on the planet. Um, that and also that I hope people I hope it inspires people to give their part in the in the bigger picture and conversation of some of these things that actually might be a reality to a lot of people and to be aware and empathetic and um, you know I think representation is a really important thing and um, to even to be even to even witness it is being part of it so I, I hope I hope people enjoy the film sincerely. Definitely. I'm sure they will. I know I enjoyed it. And I feel like I could speak with you forever, but unfortunately I am out of time. So I want to thank you so much again for chatting with me. It was such an honor to speak with you. Thank you so much. Hope to speak to you soon. So your character, Ethan, is so captivating and often a little scary to watch in the film. And I'm curious what attracted you to the role and what you enjoyed about portraying him the most. First of all, I love working with um, Shana and Ella. I think they're two incredible artists each. And um, uh, the script was just amazing. It was so lively and it was so fun and it was so wild and crazy. 
And then I got the chance to be a good guy for the first part of the film, which I often don't get to do because I have an accent. And if you have an accent, you're often villains in American films. Um, so that was one of the reasons as well I wanted it. But mostly and mainly it was to work with those two incredible women and the whole cast and crew behind them. Definitely. Yes, absolutely. And then I'm curious um, if you have a favorite memory from filming. Uh, one of my favorite memories would be the one with the prison scene that we couldn't make it work. And I just got so aggressive and irritated and frustrated. I just said, like, just, well, let's just shoot it now and let's see what happens. And then that frustration and, and anger and bitterness and, and craziness kind of ch ch channeled itself into one of one of my favorite scenes I've ever done in my life which is kind of crazy because I've done a lot of work, but I just, there's something in that scene that just, I'm very proud of that scene. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it was, I remember that scene. I know what you're talking about and it's was a good one. So it's fun to hear kind of the behind the scenes side of it. And then I'm curious if you had to describe the movie in just five words, what would you use to describe it? Run, sweetheart, run. Exclamation mark. I don't know. <laughs> Five words. Uh, evil. Power. Date. Feast. Resolution. Cool. Awesome. Good. Awesome. And then um, I'm curious. So the movie's been done for a while since it first premiered in Sundance way back in 2020. And then obviously with release delays due to the pandemic and all of those unforeseen circumstances, um, it's just now going to be released now. So I'm curious what you are most looking forward to audiences watching or taking away from the film when it finally releases. It's kind of crazy doing a film like three, four years ago. And then because of COVID and the world and et cetera, et cetera, it finally gets released. I'm just so happy and thankful that all the work Shana put into this script and the directing and the story and all the work everyone put into it to, to have, to have the world to see it. And I'm just so extremely thankful that there's a place like Amazon. Of course, I wanted the theatrical release. Who wasn't, who doesn't want to have a theatrical release? But that said, Amazon picking it up and showing it to way more people than we would ever be able to do with a theatrical release, you're so, so thankful. And, and uh, I, I, I cannot wait to see the reactions we're going to get because hopefully a lot of films, uh, a lot of people are going to watch this film. So I'm curious for you, what was the most rewarding part of writing this story and then telling it and bringing it to life on screen? Well, I think as a writer, we love to, you know, rewrite our, our story. We like to rewrite a new ending for us. And, you know, as a survivor myself, I got the opportunity to write a badass ending that might not have happened in reality, but that absolutely should happen. And that was incredibly fun and cathartic to film. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. And then for Effie, so this movie has been completed for a while now since first premiering back at Sundance in 2020 and then getting release delays and everything, obviously, due to the pandemic. So now I'm wondering what you are most excited for audiences to see when the film finally comes out. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited for them to see so many things. I'm a huge fan of horror. I'm a huge fan. And I think that audiences today will be so excited to see a woman a woman of color be the protagonist and also a woman of color who's the protagonist that wins, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not only does she win through this like relentless sort of journey, but she also like who comes to help her, like other women come to help her so that they can defeat the big bad. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm also really excited about that even though this is a genre film, right? It also sort of harkens back to what is actually going on today, where there are women who are going through this that are being, you know, women, especially women of color are also very susceptible to being, you know, I'm going to call it disappeared, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and so and especially like what went on with Missouri, what's going on with the indigenous women, you know, as well. This to me, I'm like, oh, not only is it educating as it entertains, but it is like all of these things I'm just so excited for people to be able to see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's 
such an important story and it is so incredible to watch a protagonist win in a big way and also as you mentioned both educate and it like empower and entertain all at once it's just <laughs> such i honestly feel like it's like a master class of a movie it's so great um and then shauna i'm curious so did you run into any unexpected challenges or unexpected hiccups while you were filming the movie gosh yeah i mean i've never i've never done a horror film before so it was it was unexpected you know there was I, I'm trying to think it was such a difficult shoot and it was so many years ago because of the pandemic, but we were shooting nights and we just had exhausted actors that were going through so much trauma during the day to shoot these scenes mm. that it, you know, as a director, you want to protect your actors. That's your responsibility really is to protect them. But here I was putting through them through hell and back, especially Ella. And we weren't expecting, you know, even when we were shooting some of the scenes with her tampons and the period things, we were not expected. We didn't expect to, to feel so uncomfortable and scared shooting that, especially Ella, because, you know, we signed up with like, this is going to be great. This is important. Let's destigmatize this. Let's show it. And then as soon as we have a camera on it, we started to fill with self-doubt. Like, is this too much? Should we not be showing this? And all of that messaging kind of came back to us of, no, it's shameful. It's dirty. Don't talk about it. Don't let anybody know. And that was one of the unexpected humps is shooting that kind of content. And believe me, towards the end, we were like, great, give up, get the period blood on set. Da, 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 da. But that first day, I remember Ella and I looking at each other and going, okay, where's the camera going to be? What are, how are we shooting this? Should we be doing this? And then it got easier and easier, which was ultimately our goal. But yeah, that was unexpected. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. And then I just have one final super quick question for Effie. I'm curious if you could describe Run Sweetheart Run in five words, what oh. five words would you use? <laughs> okay, well, Relentless is one, Empowering is another, Terrifying, and then I guess it's a phrase, Blue-Eyed Devil. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it got well. That was a bit more than five, but like those are the things that I would sort of put together. <laughs> Definitely. We'll count it. We'll count it. <laughs> okay, good. 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 I'm like, those are some things. Good. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I feel like I could speak with both of you all day, but unfortunately I am out of time, but thank you so much for your time and huge thank congratulations you. again on the film. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.